Uh oh. You gonna be brave and jump that? No, I'm gonna pretend to do a tennis match with myself. Welcome to the 418 Show. I am so pumped that you're here. Today we're going to be talking about a very important word that starts with the letter F. No, it's not far buckle fettuccine or a flip flip dap dap zula. No, it is something else. We're going to be talking about forgiveness. But first, Wyatt, the master of boredom. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with beating boredom with Wyatt. It's a very nice day. It's actually, ah, oh, that was going to be such a good day for marching. Yes. Beating boredom 101. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how to be boredom at a park. Just a, just a squirtle, squirtle. Oh, it got away. Dang. Look at that Pokemon. That's the rarest Pokemon ever. Found ourselves a tennis court. Now, what can we do with that, I wonder? Now, stepping onto the field, Wyatt and his opponent. All the way from Huntington Beach, Wyatt. Begin. Fifteen. Why for California has officially won the game, ladies and gentlemen. I bought a house, and we're going to it right now. Here it is. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Is it too late now to be hungry? Hey, Jimbo, what's up, bro? How's it going? We don't speak. Why not? You know why? No, no, I don't. If I knew, I would. Oh, you're not so mad about me putting the pepper in your water, are you? That was like a month ago. I said sorry. Sorry? Sorry's not good enough. My tuna casserole tastes like peppercorn for a month. Why do you eat tuna casserole for a month? That's besides the point. You, me, not friends. Ooh. Have you ever met somebody that was bitter? I mean, just bitter, nasty. Like you hang around them and you're like, Ew, just being around you tastes nasty. Like, have you ever been around somebody like that? They're really negative all the time. You'll say something like, I'm really excited, I'm gonna hang out with my best friend. And then they're all like, enjoy it while it lasts. I had a best friend once till they stabbed me in the back. Or you say to them, hey, wanna come hang out? And they're like, no, I'm fine. But really what they're thinking is, I don't wanna come hang out with people because they might not like me. And the last time I hung out with somebody, they hurt me and they, Stole all my chickens. Usually if somebody's really bitter, it's because they haven't forgiven. They haven't forgiven somebody who hurt them, whether it be a parent, a teacher, sibling, cousin, the random guy that comes down your street and he kicked over your mailbox, the milkman, who knows? Maybe you just haven't forgiven somebody and that is why you're bitter or that's why your friend is bitter is they haven't forgiven. Forgiving is a huge part of life and if you don't forgive you're gonna find that you're held back in every area of your life when you don't forgive people you're basically binding yourself up so that you can't be free and move forward with your life you're like huh I'm so angry I'm never gonna forgive you ha huh, take that yeah I'm not gonna forgive you you don't deserve it you're not gonna have my forgiveness ha huh, take that and you think that you're hurting them, but really you're just hurting yourself and you're stuck. And they're off chasing bunnies and you're stuck here in this really tight rope that's actually cutting off the circulation of my wrist. Ow. There's a saying that goes that unforgiveness is like drinking poison expecting the other person to die. I'm going to drink this highly toxic cleaner and then you will die. so good. Here's some things you need to know about forgiveness. Number one, forgiveness does not make what they did okay. It doesn't make an excuse for it and it's not saying it didn't hurt. Number two, forgiveness is letting this person off the hook. It could be letting yourself off the hook, a family member, whoever it is that hurt you, you let them off the hook for punishment however that looks for you. Maybe you punish them by harming yourself. Maybe you punish them by uh, talking bad about them to other people. Maybe you're punishing them by getting revenge in some other way. 
Forgiveness is letting them off the hook for punishment, not because they don't deserve it, but because you want to be free. Number three, forgiveness sets you free. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness makes it so that you're not caught up in your past so that you can move forward into your future. How often have you been angry with somebody or, or upset with someone and not forgiven them and your mind is consumed with them, your thoughts are consumed with them, and whenever you see that person, you're just so angry. How often has that been the case? I want you to be free. I want you to live the life you were made to live. I want you to live a life that has purpose and meaning. And if you live your life full of unforgiveness and bitterness, you will not be as free as you possibly could. So here's my challenge to you. Think of somebody today that you're holding a grudge against, that you're angry with, and just let them off the hook. Now, I realize that there's different levels of hurt, and it may take a process to actually let some people completely off the hook and completely forgive them, but let's just start with this one thing. Let's just start by saying, I choose to forgive and say that person's name. See, what's amazing about this is that God forgives us every day. God chooses to forgive us and let us off the hook every single day, and we should be able to do the same thing for other people. Like, subscribe, share, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Snappity Chat, and just go have a great life. We love you. Hope you have a great week. But nobody knows who you're talking about. There's a saying that goes, no way, <laughs> and move forward with your... Usually it's something that... <laughs> Here are some things that you need to know about forgiveness. Number one, forgiveness does not make what they did okay. <laughs>